So One of those radials. Yeah, radial uh, radio ulnar joint. Which one is closed pack? Which one is open pack? Mm -hmm. This is closed packed. This is open packed. So you can measure it in either one, but you're going to get less range, especially in extension, when you're supinated. So we're going to do both of these pronated. Okay, and both of them you're going to measure relative to the ulnar side. Okay, so Tina, if you'll do us the honors. Okay. Lateral aspect of the wrist. Isn't it same for the fulcrum? Yeah. Over the triquetrum. Triquetrum. Okay, so remember we have the pisciform right here? Mm -hmm. And what's underneath it? Triquetrum. I'm going to scare my husband and go home and be like, this is what we're naming our daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and then our stationary arm. Lateral midline of the ulna. Lateral midline of the ulna. And our moving arm. Midline of the fifth metacarpal. Fifth metacarpal. Okay, so this is our zero. And then we're either going to flex or extend. So we're going to be looking on this side. Okay, so I'm going to take, stabilize here, move his metacarpals. Okay, so this is our extension. If this is zero, what is this? Close to 90. Nailed it. Okay, so I'm going to stabilize, move, but then I'm going to let go, hold it there. Make sure I have the right hand hold here. And make sure I'm not getting in the way of myself, so I'm actually going to switch arms. Would it be easier if the patient stabilized the ulna like this? No, because no. I just do this. Ah. Okay. 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 And we're just at 90. Okay, and then flexion. Bring it forward, and we're going to do this. Flexion, and that is not quite 90, but close. <laughs> and we're at 81. Okay, flexion and extension. Now we're going to do radial um, is the capitate. Okay, so remember you find the third metacarpal or that divot and do a little bit of flexion and feel it pop into your finger. It's hard to feel things to your band aid. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, and my stationary arm. Dorsal midline of the forearm. Dorsal midline of the forearm. So just straight up that forearm. And our moving arm. Dorsal midline of the third metacarpal. Dorsal midline of the third metacarpal. So this is our zero and we're going to go this way or that way. So first I'm going to stabilize here and move the metacarpals here. So if that's zero, maybe 20, maybe 30. 22. And then we're going to go ulnarly. Maybe a little more than that. Okay, so again, stabilize, move, let go. Thank you. Say, Claude. I'm a professional. <laughs> Thank you. 